Have any idea why I stopped you? Yes, sir. I don't know why I was going so fast. I don't know. Yes, ma'am. Posted speed limit is 30. I know. I don't and, know. And uh, you were at 47. Yeah. I, and I normally don't go down this road that fast because it annoys me when other people do. I just... Okay. Just All right. The Oconee County Sheriff's Office says body cams like these can help deputies do their job better. It actually helps as a tool for public safety. It allows them to videotape. The body cams will record uh, everything they do. But just like with any piece of technology, there are always some limitations. Here's the point of view of what a body cam would look like. If the officer turns his torso left, you see left. If the officer turns his torso to the right, you'll get a point of view from his right. But if the officer only turns his head, you can only see what's in his line of vision. The Forest Science Institute, which is working with Oconee County, says there are other limitations. A camera may encourage second guessing. A camera may also be able to see better than you do in low light. Some important danger cues, like touch, can't be recorded. But one UGA criminal justice expert says these limitations can be resolved with the proper policy. I think that that's how uh, it's really important to create these model policies for uh, body-worn cameras. When should they be used? How should they be used? And, but also to share with the public those model policies. So I think the more information that the public has, that they understand about body-worn cameras, the better.